Also on the ballot for some Shasta County voters, the recall of Shasta County District 1 Supervisor Kevin Cry. Action News Now reporter Jesse Angelo breaks down what it means to vote yes or no. Come next Tuesday, the Board of Supervisors chambers here behind me could be left with a vacant seat. And you don't have to travel far in Shasta County to see the signs either for or against the recall of District 1 Supervisor Kevin Cry. So to get more information, I went straight to the sources. First, I met with Jeff Gorder, who is the spokesperson for the Recall Kevin Cry campaign, who tells us why Supervisor Cry should be recalled. If Mr. Cry is not recalled, this extremist agenda will uh, continue unabated. Um, as I say, we will, we will see a continuing waste of tax dollars. We'll, con see, we'll see a continuing a plethora of lawsuits coming against the county as the, as the board tries to defy state law. We'll continue with an exodus of experienced county employees. So it's critical for the future of Shasta County that Mr. Cry be recalled. I then sat down with Supervisor Cry himself, who laid out the reasons why he should stay in office. Some of the uh, accusations against me is that we've, that we've cost the, the board or the county millions, which is untrue. We've saved the county millions of dollars. We've saved them nearly $2 million by uh, going with heart inner civic for our voting system. We've purchased that. We don't have uh, horrible lease payments anymore. We've purchased it outright. So there's that cost. We've eliminated or we've suspended then soon to eliminate impact fees. That puts more money in people's pockets. Just yesterday, uh, we're refunding uh, people's money that have been overcharged by our government. Overcharged nearly 40%. I mean, people can go back and watch the meeting. People don't report on that because the reality is, is we're making it less expensive to live in Shasta County. We're making it freer. We're, we're, we are returning local control. Another sticking point between the two sides is what would happen to the vacant seat should the recall become successful? According to Gorder, he says that while Governor Newsom can appoint someone for the position, he thinks it's highly unlikely because of Newsom's declining to fill seats in Glen and Butte counties. On the other hand, Supervisor Cry says he thinks Newsom will appoint someone for the position due to the fact that Newsom has appointed vacant seats in other counties like Ventura, Santa Barbara, Del Norte and others. One thing both sides can agree on, however, is that people should get out and vote on March 5th. In Reading, Jesse Angelo, Action News Now, coverage you can count on. If you haven't registered to vote, you can actually do so all the way up to Election Day, either at the Elections Office or your polling place.